how to host a website for free on Google Drive. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you on how you can host an absolutely free website on Google Drive and uh, how you can get the best working ethic and idea out of all of this. So to start things off and to actually host a website on your Google Drive, what you're going to want to do is uh, we're going to start off as, uh, you know, a basic uh, page to work on. Now, what do I mean by that? What do I mean by start off as a basic page to work on? So you're going to obviously make sure you have a Google Drive. Now, Google Drive was designed to store files. However, it is also possible to use it as a web hosting for yourselves. Now, I've already made different websites on this. And I'm going to show you the best way to do this. So before we begin, let's see what are the benefits to do all of this. So, you know, Google Drive has a familiar interface that you already understand. OK, you won't need any FTP software. You can manage your website's files from within the Google Drive. OK, and moving on, you'll get 15 GB or gigabytes of your storage and you can use your own custom name and domain names. And the best part is it's absolutely free on the negative. It may be slower than other options, but we will fix this by using a CDN and it also doesn't support different databases. So you can only host static websites for yourself, right? So if you want to host dynamic websites, do not use Google Drive. So should you use Google Drive to host websites? Now, in some cases where high performance is not required, Google Drive can be a very handy and useful solution. So for example, if you want to showcase your designs to a client, if you want to test a website, practice coding or host a small project for fun, if you want to host a website on Google Drive, here is how you're going to do it properly. OK, so basically you're going to create a folder creating, you know, containing website files. OK, so let's say I'm going to come here in new and I'm going to call this web site files. OK, over here, just like that. So once we do this, you're going to add your website files like HTML, CSS, all the necessary stuff to create a website. OK, it gives you your index HTML and your style CSS. So I'm just uh, going to give you a rough example. I'm going to become here and write random website HTML and CSS file. So, you know, I could give you an example of how this works. So you can come to any code mentor, go to W3 schools or a coder monkey. And once you're over here, just download a random website template that uh, has, you know, the HTML and CSS for it. And once the file is downloaded, there you go. So there's the zip file to the actual website where you can get the CSS, the JavaScript and everything. So, you know, now we've created a zip and now we have an actual website. Now you are going to open it and make sure that you have index HTML, you have CSS, you have JavaScript and all. Now, once you do that, basically you're going to create a brand new account. Okay a brand new account that you're purely going to be using for your, you know, actual um, website hosting. Okay. Nothing else because website hosting needs a lot of storage. And as you can see, my normal accounts are pretty occupied with the storage. So what you're going to do, let's say, for example, just to give you an example, I'm going to come on my drive over here. And uh, once you come over here, I'm going to go to my downloads and I'm going to go ahead and paste this straight into, you know what, I'm going to unzip this file, uh, extract it. Now, once I have extracted it, I'm going to bring it here and upload this file straight into my drive. Now, as you can see, if it's a big file, it's, it's going to take time, but it's a pretty small file, so it gets winded up pretty easily. So once this file is uploaded, obviously, you're going to go ahead and uh, rename it for yourself. And you're going to rename it www. Well, you know, whatever the website is web app.com okay, that's what i'm going to call it and there you go so you have your website now now once you have your website you can actually go ahead and click on share click on share again now once you click on shares uh two times it brings you here so you can conveniently access the files from your primary device account and send it to people and actually share it to people where you can actually create different users for yourself okay now what we're going to do next is we're going to go to a website called drv.tw. So this is basically drive to web, which is a serverless web hosting. OK, so as you can see right now, it has five billion requests served. So I'm going to go and click on host on Google Drive just as an example. And once you do that, you're going to choose the account you want to start the hosting with. And obviously, 
you're going to make sure to allow that. So I'm going to come to my drive from here. I'm going to click on allow. And once you click on allow, it's going to load things in. It's going to bring you to work smart. It says increase productivity, save time and money. Work smart, not hard. So just go ahead and allow all these things. Obviously, it's totally trusted. Uh, you're not going to you know, miss anything or remove anything for yourself. You also get your site name and it brings you your web pages as well, where you can go into your actual dashboard to discuss all the things about your, um, you know, website and all. So it brings you to your web page and look at that. That's how it looks. So how nice is that? And this is exactly what the main website looks like on my folders, right? So basically, that's how you can start your serverless web hosting in the easiest way. And the best part about all of this is that you can actually go ahead and uh, use a domain to your own name and use a CDN to actually accelerate everything for yourself. Now, using a CDN to accelerate content access is pretty common, okay, because it's content delivery network and it speeds up your access to the drive to web and it speeds up the general working of your um you know store so pretty great pretty incredible stuff you can also go into the static generating bloggers which is also a pretty good place to be on so it's a pretty good place to work on and a whole lot more so yeah that's what gives you a, a general idea of how you're going to start your web hosting with google drive now if you found this video helpful and enjoyed it, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the foreseeable future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making a whole lot more for you. And uh, one, one last thing is if I were to go over all of this, obviously when it comes to hosting a website on Google Drive, you don't need any type of, uh, you know, external money or anything like that it's totally for free so just come over to your google drive take any file which has html and css basically an encoded and embedded website now once you choose that you're going to basically upload that folder on your google drive and once you upload that folder on your google drive from there what you are going to want to do is you're going to go to drv.tw as i stated and once you go to drv.tw from there you know it's pretty much easy off to start uh, messing with your website, connect it to your actual Google Drive, and you're pretty much set to go from there. So yeah, that's the general idea of how we're gonna work with all of this. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to this channel. And if you wanna see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments below, and I'll be making a whole lot more for you. That's about it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see all of you in the next video. Goodbye.